Hey everybody, there is a real popular YouTuber that's telling you what batteries to buy a lot, you know, on YouTube. And he's a bragging them up, and then next week he's got a different brand, he's bragging them up, and next week another brand, he's bragging them up. And, um, you know, I got links below my video, and, and probably about one out of every seven links I might make a dollar off of. But every link he's got under his, man, he's funding his kids, his kids' his college degrees in, in Stanford or something. Me, on the other hand, I put it down there so you can save a buck, not so I can make one. What you got here is a set of batteries that are salvaged now. And we're going to go to a video right here pretty quick. And this is thanks to Willie. I'm just going to call him Willie, okay? And you probably know who Willie is, but he's got 18 different brands of solar panels. And every one of them is number one brand of 18 brands. And 18 brands of batteries, and every one of them is number one brand of it. Okay, you get it, right? You go buy it. <laughs> follow the follow the follow the money. But so we got one of those brands, and here's the results. Let me go get the parts. I'll lay them out, and I'll be right back. I am one of those guys who like to try out all the new technologies, learn a little bit of something, install a few things. Um, you know, the crap on the wall there. Um, I have one of these batteries here sent to me, and I'm not going to put the manufacturer or seller or repackager's name. I'm not going to do that. Um, I've contacted them and informed them of it and uh, so that they'll know what went wrong. Can I show you what you may think inside this battery might have, see, went wrong here? <laughs> so if you've got one of them lithium batteries, LiPo 4s, okay, lithium phosphate batteries, if you've got one of these and you're bouncing around in it like this was apparently, um, this one here occurred, shockingly enough, in shipping. This was just shipping that did this. Okay, so here's the inside of the box, and you can see all the burn in fact in the box itself big smoke discharge so is a lithium battery a safe option for you to use um i'd say if you're going to build one of these standalone kits um you know like off grid garage guy or something like that or garcia uh i say yeah they're probably all right um this one however shorted out you see that and this shows you the imminent danger of one of these batteries if they're not done right. Um, I think if they're done right, they're probably okay. But you see that right there. So what that did is that sent a charge back of dead short. Uh, I'd say exceeding <laughs> exceeding the BMS's ability to cope with it. This crispy critter. I'm going to open this up here. And frying the balance lines leads that come off of it i mean look at that you, you think that might have got hot right look at this i mean do, do you think this got hot now this is the foam that it was wrapped in so that shows you the amount of smoke that poured out of this now what if you had this in your motor home what if you had any lithium battery in your motor home and they're getting so cheap now quality is getting so bad that if you got this in your motor home and you and the girlfriend um or boyfriend or well whatever you identify as if you in your other words is back there shaking your motor home and it fills it full of smoke and it's not you causing the smoke it could be something else right so if that happens um from that wire bouncing and arcing because that's all this was was shipping and <laughs> shipping this thing was just jarring around shipping and pow boom instantaneous cloud of noxious toxic instant human killing smoke not a good plan hot enough for those leads to fall smooth off you see your two uh your two battery leads that come back out hot enough those now these are the ones that go to the batteries this is the one that goes to your terminal up top hot enough to turn this into a big crispy critter of goo okay you can look down in there we're going to take that cover off now um, I'm having to be careful because this is still very freaking toxic. Now, I've tested, tested the batteries, and I've got 
three volts, three and a half, three and a half, zero, zero. And that's probably obvious because right here it had that thing just melted to it. So I'd say that it's got a bad cell there. And you can see the discoloration and all that up there. And it even warped the hell out of that. So um, over here, about the same thing. So this one here, I got one bolt out of, and this one is zero, that one is zero, and this one. So all together, if I can recover that one, I've got a 100 amp hour build-it-yourself battery for nothing, you know, for no money down. Uh, I'm sure I got to buy me a 100 amp BMS, and then I got me a 100 amp battery that might have some life in it. Okay, so what I'm doing with this video is I'm giving you a forewarning that these things are no longer being built with anything substantial in them this is just eight gauge you see that now i don't know who in the hell you're going to be putting 100 amps through a pair of eight gauge that's that look come here here this is eight gauge that's 26 amps i can just kind of feel it now it's not hot but it'll during the peak of the day but well, it's usually run about 34, so so say 35 amps. That thing will warm up a little. Okay, that's eight gauge. I don't know if I can get the, but that's 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 eight gauge. This is this is over here is four, but that's eight. And this one here, it's only running uh, starting to get shaded on these panels, so it's not running a whole ton. It's about 38 amps right now. So this one here, it ain't going to get warm. But that one there at 32, 33 amps, it'll get warm. Okay, same way over here. They're, they're tuning down because voltage is, you know, pretty good. But check this out. You're going to, I know these are siliconized, tinned, all that good jazz. So you can see where they just came right off. See that? It just went right off. Um, you, you can see where there might start to be a problem. Okay. Now, if I was this company... I'd probably still do this, but I'd put three. And I would make sure, because these were not, that these were equal length. Because one of them shorter is going to take, you know, due to resistance, going to take that main load. And then that little terminal down there, that's, that can't be more than half a millimeter thick metal. I wouldn't say that this is capable of a 100 amp discharge without getting really freaking hot. But this battery was not in operation. It was in shipping. This was a battery being shipped. It could have been sitting in your dune buggy. Could have been on your boat bouncing around when this thing went boom. So there's a significant amount of smoke in that this thing stinks so bad. I'm, I had to close up everything so that the wife even let me come in the shop and do this. So this is what it looks like when it's busted up bad. Now, I used gloves when I took it apart. Yeah, I don't think hurting myself is a good idea. And we're going to get over here and we're going to see if we can take a look and see what Toasty looks like on these fets. I don't even. <laughs> on the inside. I'd claim that they're not going to look too damn good. That's just my opinion. And the amount of heat this thing generated in such a short period of time. Now, if it would have catastrophically gone through this, um, that whole load, whatever was in that semi truck or whatever was in that, see, that one's even broke off from the heat expansion. See it right there? It even broke off. That wasn't from any other thing. All right. See it right there? Um, so we're going to try to get this little unglued off of here. Now that is the result. Look at that baby. What do you think the toxic level of PCBs and stuff that's in that? Oh, God, I'm going to die in a week. What do you think that's going to be in that? That goes into your air, goes into your lungs, and immediately attacks your liver. PCBs. That's what this is. Lots of it. Now, in, in my defense, I use a lot of lead acid, okay, and I got a big lead acid battery bank, huge, and I intend on using some of these as a nighttime booster pack. So, in other words, sun goes down, three-hour timer kicks off, low-voltage alarm goes off, and it starts drawing these through a solar controller. 
yeah, it works. I've already done this in practice. It works great. So that'll give me a chance to use some of these that can draw down to 80% and keep my batteries above, say, 55 or 60%. Um, you know, or keep them above half drawn down so that my batteries last three years longer. And there you go. You know, won't be that much. But this is just a quick video giving you guys a little autopsy of what can go wrong. And I mean, that's could have, if this would have been in someone's vehicle, motorhome, <laughs> Oh boy, uh, in your house, um, uh, heating and contracting could have caused that. I mean, literally, just just the movement of things gives a warm and cool. You got to be careful. This was not perfectly sealed, as you can see over here, completely missing. Um, and there's another spot. Uh, this here, this part of the rubber doesn't do it. It has to be what's down in the groove, see? Down in the groove, and this is like just over splash. That's the way it should be, down in the groove. See that gap right there? That's, <laughs> that's gases coming out. This is happening more and more and more. Look below my video, I'm gonna put a link to um, another guy that's showing you some facts about batteries. And he's uh, he, he's good, we, we cohort on some info a lot. I'm gonna show it. LDS Reliance, whatever, I'm going to put his video link down here. And I want y'all to go see this because he's going to tell you more about the goods and the bads. So when you're buying a $500 100 amp hour battery, it better be built better than that. Okay. If you're buying a $300 one, well, I'd open it up and check it. <laughs> okay. Because you probably got that. And you probably got a pretty simplistic one, two, three, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, 12 tube. That would be called a 12 tube uh, BMS, and you need probably need a 16. Uh, it's insufficient. So I'd say, in general, y'all be real careful with these. We're going to see if the manufacturer of this one can get this little problem fixed, that wire gauge upgrade, and definitely, definitely better packing. All right, man. Wow. Wouldn't want to have been inside the back of that truck, right, guys?